So back in early May, Aptera announced a partnership with Ingear for a two-speed transmission to help further make their vehicle as efficient as possible. I think this is an awesome idea. A couple of people had questions about durability and they recently, about four weeks ago, as of this video, they did an extended durability test of 4,000 kilometers or 400,000 kilometers, about 250,000 miles with kind of continuous shifting and it, it passed well. It, this was done even just last year so they have a new setup that is even better than this one which is good to hear. I personally as an accelerator I would be okay with this being in the first vehicles. Um, it's a very simplistic mechanism. Oddly enough there's not a lot of pictures. There's like 3D diagrams of how it works but not an actual metal image of it. It's kind of hard to find for some reason, but I did find a few. This was from one of their videos kind of on the side, and then this is kind of a close-up of the gear for the chain, and it's, you know, it looks very heavy duty. These gears are quite big, so it looks like it's built to last. Just a different angle of it there. This is from the Aptera's press release page, kind of a side view. But I really think this would give an Aptera an, an edge that really only the fear, very few EVs have actually done it. Like Porsche is the main one that I can think of offhand, and, they, and that really helps them out a lot with especially like highway range efficiency because they're using a different gearing. And this is very dynamic. The user doesn't have to input anything. It's very brilliant, very simple, very cheap as well. So let me know your thoughts on this. I am curious if they'll talk about it in the validation vehicle video that comes out on Friday in a couple of days. And hopefully they put it in their vehicle that goes cross country so they can get a lot of real use data out of it. Or at least the next one they build that like the full production weight vehicle like for efficiency numbers I would hope that would have that in there to test things or at least have a way to swap it in and out so let me know your thoughts on this I could to see some durability um, long-term durability testing being done so pretty cool see you next time